What's up, guys? It's Friday, and so you know what time it is. It's time for What the Fitness. And this week, in the least shocking news of 2022, the liver king is on steroids. <gasps> I feel like someone had that. Actually, probably several million people had that, but had that. Derek from More Plates, More Dates posted a video of leaked emails from Brian Johnson, aka the liver king, basically confirming what most people with a brain have known for over a year now, which is Brian Johnson is on enough steroids to kill a rhinoceros. His steroid bill, I believe was, well, just the HGH alone was $11,000 per month. And I, again, I'm not a steroid expert. Derek basically said what he was taking was more expensive than what many IFBB pros take. Liver King released a apology and we're gonna go through it. I'm, I'm probably not gonna make it all the way through cause I've already watched some of it and I'm frankly disgusted, but we'll get through as far as we can before I lose my mind. Primals. I'm making this video to apologize because I fucked up, because I'm embarrassed and ashamed, because I lied and I misled a lot of people. You didn't just do that. You made fun of people. You called them subprimals and you made jokes about people who said you were on steroids. That's great that you're apologizing here. Doesn't quite cut it based on the level of arrogance. I've stated that this is a complicated as fuck topic, at least to me it is, because... But well, well, what's complicated about it? Not lying and profiting off of lies to millions of people? Doesn't seem that complicated to me, but then again, you know, I got this thing like ethics and integrity and stuff, you know, that shit actually matters to me. For social media, I was rich and anonymous, and after social media, I'm still rich, but no longer anonymous, and I never expected this kind of exposure. So hold up, if you were already rich, why even need to do this? I make a good income. I wouldn't consider myself to be really rich. By some people's standards, I probably am. But I know I could make more money if I was willing to engage in some of these shitty marketing practices that these people do. I'm not willing to do it, period. And if that means I don't ever become crazy rich, I'm good with it. Because you know what's better than $100 million, Brian? Being able to lay my head on my pillow at night and know that I didn't make a bunch of money fucking lying to people. In the public eye. It's been tricky as fuck to navigate. It's really not that tricky. You just, here, here's, the, here's the first part. Don't, here's the second part, lie. Don't lie. Clearly, I did it wrong. And I'm here now to set the record straight. Yes, I've done steroids. And yes, I am on steroids, monitored and managed by a trained hormone clinician. But only primal ones, you know, the same primal hormone clinicians they had back in our ancestral days. Liver King, the public figure, was an experiment to spread the message, to bring awareness to the 4,000 people a day who kill themselves. The Hold up, what the actual fuck? So Liver King was an experiment to bring awareness to suicide? First off, this might be the most narcissistic thing I've seen so far. It's like, well, I only lied so that I could bring awareness to suicide. Maybe he's talked about it a lot, but it's not like he talked about it all the time. I'm sorry, what does eating raw organ meat have to do with bringing awareness to suicide? And if you just wanted to bring awareness to suicide and you were already rich, why do you need to sell supplements based off of your lifestyle, which was apparently pinning yourself multiple times per day and not your ancestral tenants? But what does that have to do with people who kill themselves? Like a social experiment? Yeah, it was a social experiment, all right, to see how many morons you could get to believe lies. 80,000 people a day that try to kill themselves are people are hurting at record rates with depression, autoimmune, anxiety, infertility, low ambition in life. Our young men are hurting the most, feeling lost, weak, and submissive. So I made it my job to model, teach, and preach a simple, elegant solution called ancestral living, the nine ancestral tenants, so our people no longer have to suffer, so we can collectively express our highest and most dominant form. And you just need to get on $12,000 of steroids a month as well. Is, is that part of the anti-suicide thing, to also be on a boatload of steroids? Is that, is that part of the, which tenant was, oh wait, it wasn't on there. That's right. This is my fight, this is why. I exactly. And Liver King, please explain to me if that was your fight and that's why you exist, 
Why couldn't you just do one of two things? First thing, not be on steroids and still bring awareness to this. You were already rich by your own admission. So what you wanted was a lot of attention. Okay, I've seen some of the videos. I can see why people find it entertaining. I mean, it's trash video, but hey, whatever. When people ask you about being natural, you could do what most people on drugs do, which is just not answer it. Or you could say, you know what, I am on steroids. I, I understand, you know, but the, this is something I wanted to do. Blah, 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 blah. You could still have developed a really good following doing that. And people would have respected you for your honesty. And you still could have brought awareness to all this stuff you're talking about. But you didn't. You didn't. You lied to people. I don't care what your excuse is. You lied to people. And you profited off those lies. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry you, I believe you said your company made like $100 million last year. How, how much of that was donated to suicide prevention? I'm curious. Was there fundraisers? Like, here's where people get messed up. So, well, well, his messaging, the message that we need to get out and be active and this and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most horrible people don't say they're horrible people. Most people who do horrible things don't say, hey, I'm doing a horrible thing. They frame it somehow as a positive and justify it in their minds. We judge others by their actions. We judge ourselves by our intentions. So I don't really give a shit what your intention was. And I quite frankly don't buy that it was to bring awareness to this stuff. I think you like attention and I think you like money. Hey, I like attention and I like money. I'm honest about it. I also don't fucking lie to millions of people. While spreading the message, I've been on several podcasts and when asked if I've ever taken steroids, I've always said no, I don't touch the stuff, not gonna touch the stuff, never touch the stuff. Yeah, you lied right to their face. That was a lie. I've convinced myself that this had nothing to do with the ancestral message. I convinced myself that I'm not a competitive athlete of any kind, so who the fuck am I cheating? I convinced myself. Uh, okay, I'm done with this, by the way. I, we're gonna make, this would be a 30 minute video if we go through this whole train wreck of an apology. Apology. Um, by the way, Brian, here's how you apologize. I'm sorry, I was wrong, there's no excuse for what I did. And that's it. But what he's really saying is, I'm sorry I got caught. Oh, by the way, don't be mad at me because I was actually doing this for a good reason. You were doing it for profit. And you're not the only one. You're not the only one. There's plenty of people who do that. You're just the most loud and outspoken one. And so that's why I'm picking on you. Because quite frankly, you deserve every piece of negativity that's being thrown at you. Because young, vulnerable men buy into this shit. And then when they don't get the results like you do, they think there's something wrong with them. And yes, I'm sure the nine ancestral tenants probably have some good things about them. And I'm sure some people have gotten results from that. It's not the point. The point is you are propping up your own physique and your own lifestyle as something that could be achieved simply by following the nine ancestral tenets. And that was a lie. It was the core of your business. It wasn't a little bit, it was the core. And there's a reason people are angry. And after this apology, I'm quite frankly even more angry. When it happened, I, was, I, I put out a video on Instagram and I said, you know what? I don't even blame him. I blame everybody who bought into it, who followed him. Even people said, well, I just follow him for entertainment. You're still lining his pocketbook because every single follower he has makes him more credible in the public eye. So I actually blame most of the people out there who followed him because you want to believe in bullshit. It's quite obvious. If every single person stood up and said, we're not going to tolerate shit like this anymore. We're going to hold these people accountable. We're not going to buy their stuff. We're not going to click on their videos. We're not going to click on their posts. We're not going to tap, tap and like their posts. If everybody did that and held people accountable, then they would stop doing this because it wouldn't make them money. But unfortunately, this shit works. And I've always said from the very beginning, Liver King is not a person. He's a marketing agency. This was a well-constructed, well-thought-out plan of how to create a character that could bring awareness to his brands and make a lot of money. So congratulations, Brian. You made a lot of money. Hope it was worth your soul. Catch you next week.